Hello, in this presentation, I will explain you, how to correct the issue regarding to not shown threaded lines, when using copy paste with link command. Starting from a part containing a welding nut, with the threaded hole shown in yellow. Then a chamfer after the thread is done, obtained with a remove operation. Inside the removed body, is a sketch containing the contour of the chamfer, used in a shaft operation, and taken out of the threaded hole. Next, I will open a drawing, to check if the section view of the nut is ok. I will insert a view from nut, arrange it, create a broken view, and update the drawing. Next, in a drawing, if we represent the welding nut in section, the threaded lines will be represented correctly as shown. Back to the part, you can remark that the body named welding nut, was publish, in order to can keep the link with the part, in both setting cases, restricted or not, to external selection with link to published elements. Next. I will switch to a part called bracket assay, where I want to copy with link the welding nut. I would like to bring here, the welding nut, above the existing hole in the bracket, and constrain it as I want. Back to the welding nut part, I will copy the published body, and switch back to bracket and paste it special. From the paste special window, I will select the option with link, because I need the welding nut, to be linked, not inserted as a solid or as geometry, to give an impression of an assembly, even the bracket is also a part. Next, I will apply constraints, in order to position the nut as I need. I will switch to drawing, and create a new section, this time through the bracket assay, to see the thread lines. After doing this, you can observe that the threaded lines are missing in the section view. If you need only in one execution drawing, to view threaded lines, it's easy and quicker to draw lines on this view, to suggest them. Otherwise, if I will use the bracket assay in many other assemblies, or multiple times in same assay, with different orientations, in order to show correctly, I need to do the following operations. First time, I will try to apply the thread on the pasted nut.
Now, I will switch back to drawing to see if it is ok. After drawing update, you can observe that the threaded lines appears, but are incomplete. The lines are only on the thread depth support, no longer. Back to the model, selecting other limit face, will not solve the issue. After drawing update, still missing a part of lines, but this time in the other side. In this way, even if we select dimension instead of support depth, in threaded hole command, the threaded lines will not be represented correctly, they will not look as in welded nut section. So, I will delete this operation, and do it again, in a different way. First, I will create a point and a plane through it, in the nut axis. Next, I will insert a new body, and a new sketch inside it, on the new plane. In the new sketch, I will push cut part by sketch plane to see geometry from nut. I will select and project 3D elements on sketch plane. Next, I will insert a sketch axis. I will select and transform the projected geometry, as construction elements. Next, I will draw an oriented rectangle, as shown. Next, using the projected elements, I will create a closed chamfer profile. Now, 
the sketch is ISO constrained. I will define an output profile, by selecting the chamfer lines, as shown. In the sketch, at outputs you can see a profile. Now, I will create a shaft using the sketch. Hiding the welding nut body, will reveal the newly created shaft. On this geometry, I will apply the thread, as shown. Next, I will make a groove using the output profile. Next, I will add the thread body to welding nut. Switching back to drawing and update it, the result is as you can see. Still not good enough, but close. Back to part, and in the thread definition, I will change from dimension to support depth. Back to drawing, and update it. Now the lines are OK. Comparing, with the original welding nut section, the representations are the same. So, this is the way to solve this issue, regarding to not shown threaded lines. To add after the pasted with link part, a body containing the missing geometry, in this case the thread. This method is useful, when you need high accuracy in drawing, to represent a linked part geometry in section, in another part. Now, you can use this part, in as many instances as you need, without any section lines missing. I hope you can use some of presented operations, in your daily work.